Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. I'm glad you are enjoying the last battle. 60,000 men on the battlefield, and I have a feeling today we are going to be even bigger than we were the day before. So, we leveled up, uh, leveled up, whatever you want to do. We filled out a whole lot of our troops, a lot of our cores. We have how many? We have 35 brigades. That's quite a lot. We still have 31,000 denario left over. The kicker is, uh, I can't, I don't really have a whole lot of, I mean, I have a whole lot of these guys, which I guess I could just drop some money and, but I just don't want to. That's really, really expensive. I mean, look at this. We'll do this. Watch this. Um, new division create for three grand. Sure. Infantry brigade. I want to use, let's see, how many are in the armory? Palmetto 1842s. We have a lot of pattern 1853s. It would cost $27,000 for a thousand men. If I went down just a little bit to uh, even 1842s, 16 grand to do that. I can't even do any of these other ones. We do have some Henrys. Ooh, we have some Fayettevilles. You see what I mean? Like, it just it just doesn't work. Now, I did waste some money, so I really need to do something here. But some Palmetto... It's 25 grand is how much it would cost to do 750 of them. I have some sawed-offs. But yeah, it's just I, I don't have anything in my armory. I would have to buy everything from the shop, and that's just super hella expensive. It just is. Uh, I mean, some 16... I mean, we could do something like that. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Let's see here. Uh, what are these? These are 10-pounder ordinances. Let's see. What what do I have here that would be good? Let's go ahead and do that. I'll get some artillery. I don't really focus on artillery a whole lot. And I think I kind of should. 12 grand there. Wow. We don't have a whole lot of guns. We'll do 12 there. There we go. Let's so get some 12-pounder Napoleons. We'll do some good work there. Anyways, so we did all that. The Battle of Malvern Hill. It is another grand battle, the 1st of July of 1862. After the Battle of Gaines's Mill, General McClellan has been convinced that the Peninsula Campaign cannot last any longer. The main camp of the Union Army has been set up at Harrison's Landing to prepare for the withdrawal. Under the safety of his ironclads, General McClellan organized his last resort defense at Melbourne Hill. We gamble and attack the heavily fortified position in an attempt to give a decisive end to the Union operations near Richmond. Victory conditions, we would get $161,000, we would get 12,000 men, and we get 15 reputation. Let's dive right on into it. Holy Lord. So apparently, we could have up to 60 brigades. That is absolutely insane. I have no idea how anyone would have 60 brigades unless they're just on easy and they can just field that many. But we're just ridiculous. Look at this. 37,500 soldiers on their side, 95 guns. So the first attack, we're obviously going to do what we have the most of. Excuse me. That gives us 25,000 men and 51 guns. The second wave, we only have 10 more brigades, but look at this. We have... 75, close to 75,000 soldiers on this battlefield. Let, I mean, we had 60,000 last time. We have 15,000 more men that will be on this battlefield when everything is said and done. Holy freaking Lord. That is insane. And then 76 guns and 95 guns. So let's take a look here. I've never really looked at the map before, but I'm going to take a look at it. This is where they're more heavily defended. This is apparently like their second line. This is going to be the entire map that we will see. I imagine we probably won't see the whole thing. We're coming down here from what I can tell. Just from looking here, uh, we have no way to attack. We have a little route over here, maybe even back there. From the looks of it, we could flank them here there's a little bridge something right there that i can see but there's also something back down here so we could flank over there they're gonna probably make us f attack this end right here i want to try to get as few men lost as fo possible as possible but i definitely see some flankings here we'll just have to see what we start out with after our last fight <clears throat> the yankees were forced to withdraw they're preparing to leave from harrison's landing a few miles southwards now we have the chance to advance and completely destroy them 
General McClellan is so cautious that half of his army is guarding Harrison's Landing, some miles southwards. Perhaps he thinks he is outnumbered. We have concentrated most of our army to seize Malvern Hill that guards their right flank. If we succeed in pushing them back, all will be lost for them. The flank will collapse and they're chased down. Chase them down to the James River until no one escapes. The bulk of their de defenses, wow, I cannot talk today, is stationed at the foot of Malvern Hill. They're waiting for us with heavy artillery support to advance on open ground. It is very risky to attack the west side of Malvern Hill. The ground is swampy and our soldiers will be shot dead before they can even reach the hill. I'll be the one to decide that. Attacking the east side is not a good idea either. There are few passable river sections and we will lose too many men trying to get the cliff side. Although heavily fortified, their center is the weakest point and we must breach it prepared to attack. Their defensive position is strong. Our staff officers vie to soften them up with artillery till our forces can join them. We can cross fire here. So right at the foot of this little thing. Batteries near this area. <clears throat> oh, and also from there we can bombard the east side of the hill. Touche. Generals recommend to proceed with this plan, but of course if there is a weakness in the Union formation, you can decide otherwise. We have reserved ammo for about one hour of continuous fire. Dear Lord, look how many troops we have. Oh, look at that. Look at... Oh, my word. I'm so happy right now. For reals. Okay, so let's look and see what we have. So as you see, we there's that point, but we can't reach it yet. So it looks like this access point is where we would come in from the side, right where those rocks are. And over here, there's that bridge that they're recommending we don't cross. I don't know if we can... I don't think... No, we can't. We can't cross... <gasps> we can't cross there, though. I didn't know that. Hey, looky there. All right, cool. It said it's not recommended, but... Heck, if we can distract any forces whatsoever, that would be really, really, really good. Okay, let's get these guys ready. I'm going to get... Um, my 12 guns. What is this? What is the 10 pounder? Rifled ordinances. I want something that's going to do a lot of damage to go over here, and we're going to pound them on the east side of that hill there. These are my 10 pounder rifle guns. Uh, what are you? You're a smoothbore gun. <clears throat> I think you're going to come over here as well. Uh, spears, we're going to get my marksmen right on the front lines. I'm going to have some skirmishers over here. Uh, skirmishers over here. Good, I have four. That's perfect. Two for each side. And then we're just going to place... No idea how many guys. I just like setting up. I am going to push four divisions on that side. I know they said it's not a good idea to flank them on that side, but I just... I don't like frontal assaults. It's just not a smart move. So we have I want to figure out something that will work. Let's go ahead and move these guys over to here. Skirmishers will go with them. Also to check the area out. Um and then you guys You guys are going to come over here. I'm going to move all four of you divisions right there. Just so when the time comes. Uh, we, let's break off a couple of skirmisher units. Just so we can kind of scout the area ahead. This is where their line is. So we should expect to see pretty heavy fire once we hit these trees. Let's get spears into there. So he can start sniping. There's a... Okay. Um, let's break... Skirmisher group off of them. Let's hold this because that will give us a really good line of sight. Let's move here. Uh, this is the position where they want us to start firing from with our 10-pounder ordinances with our rifle guns. Uh, they're gonna be they're gonna have a really really good range. Really really a good range. There we go. There's their men. Already under artillery fire. Wow. They have a lot of dudes over here. But yes, I am going to flank them. I'm going to send three divisions. Three brigades. Well, probably two. Let's send two. Two brigades to come all the way over here. Yeah, you said I could cross there. 
We'll just move you up over that way, and then we'll see what you do. There we go. Are you going to fire? What is this? Attached skirmishers. Oh, we can attach them. Hold. Old. There we go. Holy crap, that's a lot of guns, man. Let's see how well they do there. Uh, we have, and then these four or five divisions. We will all just kind of move right here for now. Brigadier General, let's get you in there. It's a risky move going out there. Can you, sh can you fire? Oh, sweet, you are getting kills. Oh, amazing. Not all that many. Are we just going to get pounded? Oh, 11 kills. Oh, we can't have that. 11 deaths. We were caught out in the open for a split second. There we go. I'm going to soften up this flank. They have a ton of troops over here, though. They don't really have anything over there. We're losing a few troops. Spears, I think you'll be all right. Uh, focus on the open guys. The guys that are not behind barricades. If you could, please. We got our supplies. We're really going to whittle down these guys with our marksmen. I'm going to be really kind of upset if I can't navigate this. I should be able to, or else it wouldn't allow me to... See, that, that means that it's navigatable. Oh well, we have an hour before reinforcements arrive. I think that's what that means. You guys doing some work now? 23 kills, that'll work. Let's go here. Just seeing if we can soften the flank up. There we go. Too many deaths. Now that we're in some decent cover, it should work out for our advantage. Let's go ahead and bring you up. Quit being cowards. Fire. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous, guys. I am really, really nervous right now. I better dag him well be able to cross that. Oh, come on. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Oh my word, that's been up there the whole freaking time. Oh my gosh. Well, we just have two divisions that are coming over there. Holy crap. 
Run! They just... I did not see that coming. That's a very weirdly decisive move for them. Alright, well. Hold, hold, hold. There you go. Move into the woods. Oh, come on. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I told you just move into the field. Not like try and flank them. Dang it. Get back here, you freaking cowards. We got spears still just working on them. Are these guys getting anywhere? No, they're not. You're just getting sniped. That's all that's happening right now. Get over here into the field. You, I told you to come here. That volley up before they do. Dang it. There we go. Get a volley. Wreck that side. Flank them. Brilliant. There you go. That nice solid volley. That was really, really good. We're softening that right side or that left side, man. Hold. Hold. Oh. That is a brutal, brutal volley. Get back here. No, get back here. Fall back. Fall back. I didn't mean to detach skirmishers. I pressed the wrong button. No! These guys are just exchanging disgusting volley fire. Retreat. There's some more troops. Come on, man. You gotta be in here. So these troops are pretty much useless. That's basically what I'm figuring out. We're pushing that center pretty hard. Hold. Get a volley off. Come on, men. There we go. That's a good volley. That's a really solid volley. Sweet. We made them route. Let's push our advantage. Not like literally. There we go. There we go. We made two brigades route. Hold. Hold. Butterfield. Dang, that's a lot of troops killed. Look at that. They're not getting so many, so many guys now. You know what? I'm gonna make you fall back because you're not paying attention. Fuck. 
Fire. Let's go after him. Fire the ballers, huh? How are you guys doing? How's Spears doing? He's only lost 15 men. Got 1,500 kills. How about you guys? You guys are just losing tons and tons and tons, and you're not doing hardly anything. Get into here. Get into here. You're just getting sniped. That's all you're doing. I'm not so good with the artillery, apparently. No, get into here, advance, and take their center. <gasps> Reinforcements. Please say so. That means the map's open up too. Yes. Yes. Now can I come across? <gasps> I can. Perfect. No, you're going to come this way. That also means we can advance down further south. No, no, no. Hold. That's not what I wanted you to do. Colonel Parrot has been killed. Look at all these horsemen. Come down this way. Oh, we got two directions we can come in from. We're definitely going to at least get two guys to come down here uh, we got our let's get these guys here move over into here take out the daggum guns for crying out loud we got more marksmen we really need to move oh my word they have so many troops these guys really not firing. They've just been taking it. These guys routed, is that what happened? Yep, that's what happened. Let's move up. I've got so many guns now. Are they really firing? We're moving. We're moving. We've got you three guys. Oh, yeah. We'll put you guys up here in the front lines. And then, Johnston, you come over here. And then we'll supply our troops over there. We've only lost 7.3% of our men. Brigadier General, you need to be in the mix, Brosif. Come over here. These guys have been doing really, really solid. We have to advance slowly because they still have a crap ton of men. Let's go down here, though. <clears throat> Let's just see just what they have. Come on, guys. We're doing really solid. This is working out a lot better than I thought it would. There's no one over here. <gasps> we could go after their guns. They're going after our guns. Let's get down there. Switch, man. All these guys are getting decimated. There's so many cannons right there. I'm going to have to tell them to hold. They're just going to have to suck it up and lose. Get over here. Then fall back.
Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Still quite a few men over here. Morale's decently high. What do they have? Melee is not so great. Let's move on back. There's nowhere to cross except for right there. Okay. Yeah, if we lost that unit of horse. Go this way. So they got that pretty well guarded. Major Brian. Yeah, he's routed hardcore. And I can't blame the guy at all. Move up. Move up. We can move right to the edge, probably. Let's move over here. We're going to have to figure out how to do some good charges. Get some good charges going. We have an hour and 40 minutes. So we're doing okay there. Halt. Look at all of these troops. Dear Lord Almighty, man. There are just a ton of them. Let's get engaged. I have to distract the cannons? If I can distract the cannons, it's perfect. They have so many cannons, though. Are we engaged in melee? No, we're not. Not yet, anyways. There we go. Jackson, come here. You guys are just perfect. No, Spears, no, get out of there. Sherman skirmishers should be the ones to go back into there, but you are going to attack. I've got it all, I've got it all figured out. We're going to come across here. We're going to lose quite a bit of men doing it. But again, the idea is that I create a big enough diversion that they have to force some troops into there. And by forcing troops, peels away from their main forces. It works very much to my advantage. A not unified flank over there will always oh, empty. Oh crap. You guys really didn't do much, did you? Focus on that brigade. Oh no, are they firing at my oh crap. That's alright though, again, if they are focused on me and not on those cab, I can get some good flanks going. That would be perfect. And we can also go over here. We have an hour and 12 minutes left. We're going to have to start pushing. just so much death. No, why, why, Marksman? Why? Hold on. Get back here. Supplies surrendered. Perfect. Go after these supplies. Push up their flank. Go here. We got a brigade. Let's run.
Doing good things, guys. Doing good things. I cannot take those guys on right now. There's just no way it's possible. But we are pushing them heavy from the backside. Making those guys route. Oh, man. Charge them, boys. Charge them. Coming up in from their backsides. Let's move them up. There we go. That's going to be the advantage we need. Oh, crap, son. These guys firing? No, I didn't say... There we go. This is our advantage. This is where we push right now. Let's melee it up. This is where it is. Hold. You guys come back. We've got fresh divisions all over the place. I don't know what's going on. I'm not microing. I'm, mic I'm having to micro over 35 brigades. That's my issue. And it's not easy. Let's keep moving up. Johnston, keep moving up. We got 47 minutes. We can take all of these guys. We can take them all. I know for a fact that we can. We can surround them. We can make them surrender. They'll get flanked. These guys ha have to have just a ton of kills. Go after them. Push this flank over here. Hold. Hold, man. They have to know that they're outnumbered. They have to know that they're screwed. Charge into them. Brigadier General Cadmus Wilcox is wounded. Well, at least he's wounded. Wounded means he will recover. We have to push hard. Charge into him. If that's what you have to do, then that's what you have to do. How many troops have we lost? We've lost 19% of our men. Here we go. This is where it gets really fun. We've got whole divisions down here. Come on, move up. I keep saying divisions. You guys know I mean brigades. Potato, potato. Charge them. Hold. 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 This is where it gets really, really, really disgusting. Like, insanely disgusting. This is those nasty, nasty battles you always see in Civil War movies, where everyone's literally just trying to kill each other. Like, that's, that's what's going on right now. Brigadier General Havoc, you get up here. Bernie has surrendered. Oh, it's a mass route. It's, oh man, we're doing some good work. We're losing a ton, a ton of soldiers. But that's okay. It's supposed to happen. That's how it really went. Let's go up here. Confederates, we have secured Malvern Hill. That is what we need for victory. We need to hold East Malvern and... Oh, 
My lord, there is another. That's right, that's only half of his army. Holy crap, there's another section to this battle. There is another part to this battle. This is insane. Hold. What do we got back here? Oh, those skirmishers. We don't need those skirmishers right there anymore. Ah. The Yankees could not find a better defensive ground. I know. Our main objective remains we must capture Malvern Hill till nightfall or else we must accept a defeat today. Keep it up, General. Uh, let's detach. Let's get some skirmishers, see what's going on here. You guys are doing so amazing. Just a little longer. 29% of our troops. Let's go ahead and charge with our skirmishers. Skirmishers are good. Charge units. Some marksmen, I bet you're exhausted. You've been firing literally all day. Here comes some cav. Let's turn right around. Take them out. Hold on, no. You don't get to charge. You are a marksman. I wonder how many troops they have lost because we're routing a crap ton of them. And there's not going to be anywhere for them to go, honestly. We got 2,000 troops. Let's push them this way. Push them this way, push you guys that way. You move up. This is just absolute madness. Where's my Brigadier General? Get over here, you coward. Nell surrendered. No, they didn't. There we go. They know they've lost, they're trying to pull back. We have so many brigades. Move them back here, boys. This is still an awful day for us. 32% of our troops are dead so far on the battlefield. Everybody just keep pounding, man. I mean, that's all we can do. We just got to start. We just got to keep it up. Got to keep pushing them. Move you guys that way and that way. Get into this battle. It's going to take you a year and a half to get anything done, but that's all right. absolutely ridiculous. I mean, this is just, oh my word, it's so insane. Hold. Hold. Are you, are you marksmen getting good kills? I hope so. We have two hours. Two hours to take out as many troops as we can. Hold. Everyone just hold. That's what I need you to do right now. No, marksman. No. I mean, at this point, a lot of these guys are just a single volley, and they may just rout. Get those guys, get those guys down there. We're working on them. We're moving this way.
Look at this. This is just crazy. Give him a volley. We've lost 35% of our troops. Seriously, though, like, I wonder what portion of theirs they've lost, because they've had to have just lost so many. Come down here. Warren surrendered. Good. I don't know what guys are down here. This is a massive, massive victory for the Union. Absolutely insane. Let's move up. You guys can actually just come hit him over there. We need to get Brigadier General into the mix, but just have him uh, hold. So he doesn't route the coward. He's not routing, he's just holding. Aha! Hold this way. Go this way over here. Cavill, you come over here. Cabell, Cavill, however you say your name. Hold your ground, men. Hold your ground. We are working on them. Unreal, man. This is just absolutely unreal. I wonder when they're exhausted if that reduces their fire rates. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Everyone's just wiped. Hold. 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 For the love of God, just hold. Don't charge. We've captured the hill. Turn around. Turn over this way. I don't want to just do a big slug fest. Like, I don't want it to just be a melee fest over here. We've already lost 40% of our men. There we go. That was an epically failed attack. Let's get those skirmishers, those marksmen. Spears as marksmen. Just start firing into them. We got this. We got this good. Absolutely crazy. Just, oh my word. All of these dudes are dead. They are all dead. Completely, 100%. No one's making it out of this trap alive. Now these traps, sure. Now you gotta remember, Confederates are the, these guys are really, really tricksy. Look at this, oh my word, look at that. It's just nothing but just death. And literally just nothing but death. Retreat, please. Keep moving towards them. But you gotta remember the Union's really sneaky. I say that because they could still find a way to take these hills back. Had it happened before. Now we'll turn it into a slugfest. We have a lot of these troops are well rested. We can take them on. Get Brigadier General into the mix. A very, very well earned victory for us. 40% of our men are gone. But that's okay. 
Someone's getting a little crazy. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. An absolutely 100% insane battle. Just one of those, I can't believe what just happened right now kind of battles. No, go after him. Might as well. Get these horsemen after him too. I'm assuming that once we kind of drive these guys from the field, that's it. Holy crap, man. Holy, holy crap. Get back over here. We got any guys camping around that area? Perfect. Look at, oh my word. We did, we had over, I guess we didn't. No, we did. 75,000 men, I'm gonna assume that's what it is. But look at this, infantry, 33,000 men. They had four generals. They lost over, I mean, two thirds of their men are gone. They are dead, missing 3,000 men. We deployed 33,000 infantry, 1,100 cav. Oh, there is. There is over 75,000 men in this battle. We captured a third of them. We only lost 12,000 infantry, 10 guns, 725 cavalry, and zero men are missing. Let's look at the top kills. 2,300 kills. Absolutely insane. Everyone leveled up. Those who did not die. Glenn Parrott, you will be remembered goods though this is where it'll be really really amazing <clears throat> 5200 springfield 1855s let's see what did i see down here some more supplies some sharps we got a lot of supplies a lot of supplies holy crap ladies and gentlemen that was an unreal battle just absolutely insane we got our full 161,000. we exchanged prisoners for additional recruits in my career what does politics do I don't know if politics gives me, it gives me golden recruits. That's, that's, I mean, that's good, but we don't really need that. Economy gives us a good discount. We got two career points we can pump into, but I'm thinking logistics. We didn't really have an issue with logistics, which was really, really surprising. I'm going to go economy, which is going to give me a good discount. And I actually think I'm going to go medicine, which is going to restore more, or I could go reconnaissance. This gives me current army strength during the battle. I'm going to do that. I don't really have a whole lot pumped into that. Let's look at the army. Oh, yeah. We've got some good... A lot of 1855s. Some Whitworths. We need to re-up uh, our game there. What's after this? We have three different battles. We have Cedar Mountain. We have Manassas Depot. And we have the second Bull Run battle. Guys... I'm going to refill my troops, but I hope you enjoyed this battle. 75,000 men, and we did amazing. We did so good. I am so happy with how that turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Be on the lookout for the next episode. This is Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace!